All right, designed by Hassani. How we how we feeling about this one? Is this Frutiger Arrow? They got the grass going. We got the grass. We see some common motifs here. The grass, nature, we got the sky. We got some bubbles in there. How y'all feeling about this one? ZLP says, I feel like the heart is off. UT Curse says, very high contrast. Yeah, I feel like this might be a little too dark to be Frutiger Arrow. Like the contrast within the heart itself. Dip, dip the says, Dip the Daz. That's a, that's a crazy name. Says, having mixed feelings about this one. What you, what you thinking about it? How, how you feel? Tori says the other half of the heart is different from the other half. Like the shading is off. So, so FLA says, what are you trying to achieve with the bubbles? Dipta says the, the composition is off. I mean, well, it's like, I wouldn't say like the layout is off, but you know, I'm just trying to play devil's advocate here. I mean, like the structure of it is good. It's just the elements within, within the scene are kind of, the elements in, within the scene aren't really connecting. Like the heart is just too contrasty. I feel like this probably could have went way better with like with like the new 3D tool and Illustrator instead of using because I know what they did here. What they did was take the they just used the FX panel within Illustrator. I mean, not Illustrator, but Photoshop and just kind of did like this sort of chrome effect on top of on top of like kind of like a vector object or something. Maybe crazy VIP says the bevel and emboss can't really see that. Oh, the bevel and emboss can't really tell if it's 3D feels flat. ZLP says it's four elements plus a background. Yeah, I mean, they did try and do like some, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they did try and warp the, warp the grass here to look like it's, you know, being obscured by the by the bubble, which really great idea, but the execution of it just isn't, just isn't there yet. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot about this that could actually, I feel like there's a lot that could be improved about this, but I designed by Hassani, come on, come on, bro, like, we know you could have went way harder. I've seen some of your work in the Discord. Trying to make those bubbles were a nightmare, not gonna lie. But did you make them within, like how did, how did you make these? Did you just take like a shape and then kind of lower the fill and do an FX layer within Photoshop? And if you did do that, then why not just use like, go on like kisspng.com or something? He <laughs> said, I was definitely out of my element. Hey, it's good to step out your comfort zone though. Dipta says, could be better. Yeah, definitely. Hassani says essentially that's what I did. Yeah, yeah. Maybe ne maybe like next time you could use like you know if we do another Frutiger arrow theme thing or if you do something that's Frutiger arrow themed on your own like maybe just use like you know kiss kisspng.com just type in bubbles drag a bubble in to get the same effect just use like the liquify tool or something and drag it around. I feel like that probably would have saved you so much time because I can only imagine how much time you just kind of you, you kind of wasted just kind of fiddling around with this within the FX panel. I mean, although it might not be a great representation of Frutiger Arrow, I mean, good job, like, utilizing the FX panel. It's not easy to get this chrome effect kind of here. Definitely not easy to make this bubble kind of effect that you have here from scratch, so kudos. But aside from that, you know, maybe could have made this pink or something like that. Or like blue, more glossy, as opposed to right now, it kind of looks like, it kind of looks like metal. So maybe making it look more like kind of plasticky, kind of glossy, you know, I feel like that probably would have went well as far as the, you know, the common motifs and themes that you see within Frutiger Arrow. But yeah, good stuff. You know what you need to work on. We, we don't, you know, we don't, we don't really need to tell you. And, and, you know, you were out of your comfort zone on this one too, so. Kudos for you for stepping up to the plate. Y'all ready for the next one, chat? All right. Tori. We got the Nintendo DS submission by Tori7336. How we feeling about this one? What y'all think? I think, there's a, I think there's a lot here. I think there's a lot here. ZLP says, why is my going fast? I didn't do these in like order of, in any type of order. So I like the gradient. The color pop is fire. Very active compared to the last one. John3K says, yeah, this is hard. About to pull out my DS just because it is. Yeah, no, this is dope. ZLP says, should have done like a bright yellow or pink on the DS though. Yeah, that would have been good. Something to kind of play off of the background a little bit. I feel like that would have went over well. Alana says, I like the bubble activity. Yeah, yeah, this is nice. It frames the DS nicely. Kind of these bubbles over here. The reflection is cool. Oh yeah, I didn't even peep that. I would have liked to see something like um, on the screen though of the DS. John 3K says, I feel like the blue DS is perfect. Actually, very Frutiger shade of blue. 
yeah it is yeah like it, it's got that glossy material to it so yeah and i like the i like how you have the the ds pin here just kind of floating and then my only one one of my like only critiques would be i feel like there's a lot within this area and i feel like you probably could get rid of kind of maybe one of the fishes like the i kind of like the bubble kind of globe that you have here but also you know is that like a, like some sort of like water fall thing going on right there i can't really tell probably could have worked on that just like a little bit more because i can't i can't even tell if that's water really but i get the idea the concept that it's like kind of like this waterfall and it's like falling into the ds into the reflection which is a really solid idea crazy vip says most accurate frutiger era john 3k says agreed i feel like if the screen was an ocean slash water it would go even harder with the fish coming out yeah i feel like that way you probably could have made like um, you know move the fish maybe behind the globe and kind of made everything look like it was coming more out of the screen it would have helped to give it like a sense of direction because right now everything still feels a little static like i don't know as far as hierarchy i don't really know which what to look at first any any final thoughts on this one, y'all? Overall, I dig it. I think it's solid. Tori says, thank you for the advice. Yes, anytime. Anytime. Thank you for, for submitting. All right, let's go to the next one. All right. John 3K. John 3K with the pair phone. What y'all think? How we feeling about this one? <laughs> nah, don't close chat. Don't run from the critique, my boy. Crazy VIP says, I like the concept. Yeah, I, I really love the concept. How y'all feeling? Let me know some. I love the hair. Yeah, that's a good 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 idea there to use the kind of tied back into kind of nature and you know the lady that kind of coined the term frutiger arrow said that you know it was very uh skeuomorph skeuomorphic skeuomorphic it kind of also kind of kind of threw the word humanism in there to describe frutiger arrow so i think that this does a good job at tying together those terms the pair phone is sick yeah is that an actual like I'm stupid for saying that's an actual device. But is the, is is that an actual like is the pair phone an actual thing or did you come up with that idea? Tori says really eye catching and beautiful. Vatlo says that pair phone is sick. ZLP says the wording disappears, but the rest of it is amazing. Alana says I like the hands, but could do without the large bubble. Zoe one oh one. Oh my god, bro. Zoe one oh one. It's from Nickelodeon, like shows like iCarly but it was never actually yeah okay yeah yeah i knew it looked familiar overall i i, I really like this i feel like one of the few critiques that i have for this is that i probably could have done a little bit of shading right here just to kind of separate the face from the from the kind of tree kind of hair-esque elements up here yeah i see you kind of did some shading here to kind of make these areas stand out but I feel like you probably could have done that here as well. And then the city behind the pair is is not really needed. The pair itself is good enough. Yeah, I can see I can see it working without the city. It does get a little busy kind of right within here just because both the city and the pair are like very close to very close to being white. And so maybe something to help bring out the edge of the pair here. Maybe kind of adding some uh, I don't know if adding some shadow there would help maybe if you blurred the city a little bit i'm not sure though whoops any final any final final critiques crazy spoiler right i just dropped the ball bro dang bro i'm gonna just hang it up bro but i think my favorite part of this piece is probably gonna be the text here like i really like the kind of the kind of motion within the text i feel like this is definitely something that you would see in the early 2000s overall good work though i i already spoiled it you know what i'm saying so let's jump into the next one